you're watching the AI report, we have a nice and short episode for you today, let's get into it. The AI war is about to intensify further. Biden will sign an executive order in August that will limit the exports of technology to China even more, especially when it comes to AI, semiconductors and quantum computing. There are already several existing bans of this sort, this will only deepen them. Yeah, probably nothing surprising here, the US really doesn't want China to take the lead in the AI race, and these measures probably hurt China. And even though the West fears Chinese AI dominance, currently the hottest AI app in China is an AI portrait generator. Miaoya charges 10 yuan or 1.4 dollars and takes a single headshot to create several interesting AI avatars of the person, pretty much like Lensa and other similar apps. Guys, in the West, this was cool like a year ago, or a previous lifetime. What's next? China will get into 90s boy bands or rollerblading or people coloring their hair in just one weird color instead of six? Everybody is over AI avatars already here. The hottest new thing now is deepfake and AI scams and getting billions of funding by slapping the AI label on your worthless startup. Yeah, China is definitely behind. Speaking of getting billions in funding, the S&P 500 is up 19% this year, and AI likely plays a huge role in that. Even more importantly, the index is expected to continue to grow at a rapid rate for the rest of this year and probably the near future as well. In other amazing AI news, ResGPT is a new AI-powered lens that you can attach to any glasses and it translates speech into text on the display. Let's check out the demo here real quick. I'll let you know when to go. Okay. Okay, ready. 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 Recording? Yes. Cool. So, hi, I'm Tom, and this is Transcribe Us, subtitles for the real world. So, using our device, you can actually see captions for everything I say in your field of view in real time, while also getting a good sense of my lips, my environment, and everything else around me. That's Transcribe Us, designed to help you fully understand the conversation. Okay. Fascinating. This will not only help deaf people, but it will be used to understand people speaking different languages. Those Star Trek translators are becoming a thing. And finally, one of the most disturbing AI stories I've covered so far, AI-generated clips of a two-year-old murder victim in the UK surfaced on TikTok, prompting the mother of the murdered boy to respond by calling the clips beyond sick and ask for them to be taken down. I won't go too much into the story here, James Bolger was a two-year-old boy who was lured, abducted, tortured and murdered by two 10-year-old boys back in 1993. That's horrific, and having the mother of the child relive that trauma is, well, as she said, beyond sick. We've talked about some amazing use cases of AI so far, we just saw how it can help deaf people communicate, and we've seen tons of other brilliant use cases in science, technology, healthcare, education, pretty much everything. People that use AI for evil are essentially standing in the way of all of that progress. Abusing AI for sick and twisted purposes makes people think twice about developing AI further, and that's valid. Nobody can argue away the pain of James Bulger's mom. Regulation will help, maybe even penalizing malicious actors like this will help. This is just my belief, but I think that the best we can do is continue figuring out how to use AI for good and spread the message about all the positive things that can come out of it. And that's the way it is. That was the AI report. Like and subscribe if you want to align yourself with the forces for good and AI and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>